Good morning, Brilliant Labs viewers. Welcome to another digital skill. Now, all week this week, we've been exploring artistic expressions of our creativity. Now, today, we're going to do just that. Now, first off, you may be considering what I'm drawing here to be art, circles, maybe it's a little bit of math, but really it's going to blend all kinds of different disciplines together, including computer science. Now, I want to tell you a little bit about a mathematician from 1611 whose name is Johannes Kepler. Now, Kepler pondered a similar idea as to what we're going to talk about today. He wondered, what is the most efficient way to pack things inside of another thing or circles inside of a fixed square and he was really intrigued by this packing uh, as he observed snowflakes and he discovered the most efficient way to pack something and you can try this at home if you have a bunch of circles like coins and you try to cram them into a square space what kind of shape do they form and you will find if you put the right amount of pressure on they will form a hexagonal pattern or what kepler called a lattice I like to refer to Kepler's ponderings as circle packing. Now, what if for a moment we consider, can we create an image such that all of the circles, much like Kepler discovered, do not overlap, they merely touch? And what if we could randomly assign those coordinates where they appear within the square? This is deviating from Kepler a little bit, but also the size of these circles was also determined by just a random act, like rolling a dice. So here we go, let's see if we can hand draw this. Remember, these circles need to be packed together, but they appear in random locations, they spawn in random locations across an XY coordinate plane, and they can be random sides. Oh, sizes, oh, that one won't fit, neither will that one, nor that one. Maybe the sixth random iteration will fit. Yes, it does. Hmm, that leads me to believe that this would be a really difficult practice to do if we were doing this all by hand. I wonder if there would be a way to do this digitally or electronically, and we're going to turn to Scratch. Now, for this challenge, it's simple. Uh, in principle, can you create a sketch that randomly generates circles of random sizes across the Scratch, the scratch plane or stage? And why don't we write a little bit of pseudo code or pseudo code here to explore this. So let's have the sketch, choose a random X and Y location. If there is already a circle there, well, don't draw one there. Go back, find another, uh, find another X and Y coordinate, draw another circle, repeat this for however number of iterations, like how large of a sketch do you want? Hmm, we're gonna see if we can do uh, 600 iterations. And what if we can add some additional sensory engagement? What if your circles can make sound? Or what if they can wiggle a little bit? This is called generative art, and it is an expansive field of artistic expression, and it's very creative. That really blurs the line between all kinds of disciplines. Scratch can be very powerful to capture this type of generative computational artwork. Our challenge to you is, what will you create with code, creativity, and time? Let's get circle packing. As always, stay brilliant and have fun.